Hindu households vandalized and torched for showing support to France. France, France. In um, Kumila district, Bangladesh, um, numerous Hindu households were set on fire and vandalized in Bangladesh after a post supporting Macron for defending the right to create cartoons depicting Muhammad. Um, written by a Bangladeshi Hindu currently living in France, was allegedly shared by two local men. Um, several homes, including that of the accused, were vandalized and torched. A case was filed against the locals over the post. So the people who shared this post have been taken to jail and cases were filed against them. Okay, let's be clear. Um, police arrested the two men for allegedly hurting religious sentiments and sent them to jail for violating the Digital Securities Act. Um, they were subsequently denied bail. Several police, platoon, several police platoons have been deployed to the area in an effort to quell tensions. Thus far, five people have been identified from video footage and then have been arrested in connection to the arson with each sentenced to one and a half years in jail. So this story is a little bit complicated. Let me clarify some things. According to what I read, um, in several news papers, I had to kind of piece the story together because translating into English, some things were missed. My understanding is that there is a Bangladeshi Hindu living in France. This man living in France wrote a post supporting Macron for his defense of the right to publish, create cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. So that was that post was made by someone in France. Then, back in Bangladesh, two, allegedly, two Bangladeshi Hindus, who are actually locals in the area, living in Bangladesh, shared that post. Now, because they shared this post, allegedly, written by someone else in France. The number of homes destroyed varied when I read different sources. I saw possibly as many as 10 homes destroyed. And then there were some articles saying that it was eight homes destroyed, two temples destroyed. So what and how much was destroyed varies depending on sources. But numerous homes were destroyed over this vandalized, set on fire. The Hindu community has been terrorized. The homes of the people, the two men who are alleged to have done this, one of them is a kindergarten teacher. Their homes were destroyed for the allegation of sharing this post. And then the police arrest <laughs> and then deny bail to the two men who allegedly shared this post whose homes were destroyed. Okay? So, <laughs> it wasn't enough that their livelihoods were, like, just destroyed, right? Um, the whole Hindu community in that area terrorized. Um, they were arrested for allegedly hurting religious sentiments and sent to jail for violating the Digital Securities Act. Now, if you're familiar with um, Bangladeshi secular activists, this is how people are persecuted and then th prosecuted in Bangladesh is for this notorious Digital Securities Act. Um, then the two men who were arrested for sharing this post, they were denied bail. And then after the fact, um, I read possibly as many like 40 police platoons. Again, the number varies between sources because, again, lost in translation. But numerous police platoons were deployed to the area because of how severe the tension and the potential for violence was after the allegation of sharing posts that support France. Okay? Support Macron. This is what the Hindu community is being persecuted over. Collectively. For this. And then, like I said, we'll watch the video. There are dozens of people involved in the burning down of Hindu homes and communities. Um, so thus far, from what I have read, 
five people have been arrested in connection and they are so far sentenced to one and a half years in jail from my understanding i wonder what the sentence for violating the digital security act and hurting religious feelings if it's as if it's longer than one and a half years yeah you know i can look that up and i wonder if these guys got bail i'm just curious yeah that would be an that's a good question position that wasn't made clear in the articles that i was able to find um this was brought to my attention by a friend of mine on twitter and um a fan of the show who's a bangladeshi obviously i cannot identify that person but thank you um the situation in bangladesh is really severe right now um there was also a recent story of a girl who was alleged to have hurt religious sentiments because of this she um whoops sorry ah um because of this she was suspended from school and then but ever since she was suspended from school for allegedly hurting religious sentiments in which way it's not clear um she has gone missing within five days of being suspended from university from her alleged blasphemy. She's gone missing. I was talking to a friend in Bangladesh. He was saying either she's gone into hiding over this allegation or she's already dead. Like, this is the situation we're talking about here in Bangladesh. As we can see as the news we covered earlier today, people die. They're lynched in the streets. Their bodies set on fire in communal celebration. This is how severe it is here. So let's watch a little bit of this video. Okay, so I'm going to un uh, unmute this uh, screen share. So mute yourself while I do this or else there's going to be echo. I muted it, so if you guys want to speak, um, guys, all of all, this was because of not just the cart. This okay, so I, if you thought getting butt hurt over the cartoons was bad, this is all in response to somebody saying the cartoons are not bad. Like that's how this is the level. All of this, look at this. Okay, all of this is because of cartoons. Okay, and again, this is not against the people who draw the cartoons. These are against the people who, who support said, France. Yeah, we support France. Well, By the way, it's look at actually these two against somebody Can who was posting something about somebody else who said they support. I mean, the the level of removal here is. I mean, it's not even this guy whose house got trashed. It's some other guy who said it, and he just reposted it and so even agreeing with something somebody else said about something a third person said now Rupa, it's even put more you. removed than that it's even more removed from that not only was it that it's like three times removed from the person who alleged to have done this it's the entire community that that person lives in um Okay, you know, as you know, this is why some people might say, again, we're happy that this guy was uh, elected out of office, but this is why some people might refer to your country as um, 
shithole country. Look at if this is your reaction. Look at this. Uh, by the way, I do want to highlight these two people over here who seem to be just hitting... Hold oh, on. a metal roof for no reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So for people who are listening on the podcast, I want to describe a little bit what's in this video. Um, how, what what estimate? These, they're, just, they're just banging a two-by-four. They're just banging a two-by-four on a metal roof. Like, you, yeah. they're not even... What? Look, at, look, I'm so offended. I'm so offended. I'm going to protect my profit by hitting... Look at the level of butthurt, guys. Okay, let me let me declare my... If I ever suggested, by the way, to the Hindus that, you know, I understand that the level of butthurt by Hindus is, l l like, reaching astronomical levels. But again, it's never... It's not this, okay? This is, like... This is, like, Islam, Okay? Again, this is what you get. Nobody has managed to get this to this level, okay? When it comes to online, offline consequences of getting people butt hurt, okay? So I understand that the Hindus are like second runner-up, but by a huge, 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 huge margin. Like, look at this. Like, I'm, I'm, sca I'm scared living for anybody in Bangladesh. Okay, and I'm never, I'm never gonna go to Bangladesh. I'm never gonna see, but even go close to Bangladesh. But I, am, I'm genuinely afraid for secular activists, atheist activists, or anybody who's fighting for freedom of expression. Not even activists, just an atheist. Yeah, but even like these are these are not even against act secular activists. These are just people like saying like, hey, I guess we. Oh my god, the so stupid. But yeah. Go yeah, on, so people who are listening, what you can't, what you're hearing, but what you can't see is there is like, I don't even know how many people. It looks like maybe close to a hundred people surrounding kind of a pavilion of homes, literally ripping bricks out of the walls, setting different parts of this parts of the buildings on fire, bashing through windows, taking crowbars, ripping out um, uh, metal screens or wooden screens from the windows, chucking and bricks. looting some things from the house. It looks like too taking yeah. a few things. From um, the and then randomly, there's two men just banging a two by four on what remains of um, a metal roof that looks like the home was burned down from underneath it, which accomplishes absolutely nothing. Um, I mean, none of this accomplishes anything. And while all in the background, you see smoke from the remains of the arson um, continuing to go into the sky. Um, just absolute chaos as dozens and dozens of men surround these homes. And just I do, want, I do want to remind you that these people probably think that they're being really good people. Like, I think like, like you have to understand that they're doing this and they're thinking like, look at us, how great we are defending the honor of our prophet. Like they actually like, this is what your mind does uh, is on religion. Okay. Like no, we here, sane people are looking at this and we're like, holy crap, these people are insane. But what's going on in these people's minds, like, look at us, look how great we are. Look how good, we, like, we're actually defending uh, our prophet. We are like, this is what humans are supposed to do at times like this. And we are like, so on, look at the level of honor being displayed here. Like, look at us taking the right action against uh, injustice against our prophet. That's what's going on in their mind. Like, actually, like, they congratulate themselves on doing well, it. Well, especially because they're polytheists. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, because Hindus, yeah, exactly. And I kind of agree with you in that sense, Armin. I mean, look, they've brought their children. There's a lot of children there. Like, look, they're bringing their kids to see this good thing almost that they're doing. But the way they're behaving, it reminds me of when you see a bunch of, you know, teens when they come across like a... a empty lot or a house that's been abandoned and they just destroy it for the sake of destroying it that i mean that, that that's what it looks like with the banging on the roof over and over again it's like that oh it's just really kind of psychologically disturbing whatever is going on with some of these people and i wish i could say that this is the worst thing i've seen out of bangladesh this week but a man um, that distinct honor goes to having a man's body incinerated as they continue to beat the body with two by fours in the middle of a highway, surrounded by a crowd I, celebrating. 
I do recommend so Shohan, I do repre- I do recommend not talking about all of people of Bangladesh like this in general terms. I mean, the people of Bangladesh also include the pe- the people who are being victimized here, and including a lot of secular and atheist activists, right? Uh, I understand what you're saying, but it's good if you um, do you know may you know just do not generalize. Go um, I have a quick note hmm. to answer Rivka's question because you're talking about how the five people arrested in connection to this were sentenced to one and a half years in jail. Um, for violating under penalty under penalty uh, article 84 eight, no 28 sorry dyslexia of the digital security act is a term of imprisonment not exceeding seven years or a fine a prison that commits the same effect offense several times is subject to imprisonment up to 10 years so two people Knew it. were arrested after having their own homes destroyed in retribution for their alleged support of France not even themselves, just a post that was allegedly shared, they face multiples of punishment wow. than the, the people who burned down and terrorized an entire community. Wow. That's insane. Um, I do want to highlight some of the comments. Um, Alexandra saying when your God is so weak he can't take criticism that's literally what these people act- these people's actions mean when you think about it well yeah Muhammad is not a God but okay uh, Ford is saying some- I mean in their- there is no God but I'm saying in their view uh, Ford is saying sometimes I wonder have those so called religion- religious ever kind of like take pause zoom out and take a good look on what have a religion done to them to the world in, in to the world in whole guys by the way this is i'm reading as it is okay um what they have become the death destructions hatred violence and more uh judy saying sad how religion is proving to be the downfall of human progress in the modern time the people are stuck in the past um Barca is saying tonight France will have beef for dinner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wait. That doesn't make sense because yeah, that doesn't against make sense. beef is a Hindu thing. Yeah, I don't know. He doesn't know, know that he's making a joke. It's funny. He's trying. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's trying. trying. <laughs> Maybe pork would be a better joke. They would have pork for dinner. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was, okay. Uh, C for effort, I guess, right? Um, <laughs> close but no cigar the close yeah thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel explain that to us please like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even there are people are like no we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 